Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Mulher Music. We are going to continue learning how to read and write notes on the treble clef stave. And this time we're going to look at the stems of the note, because sometimes the stems go up and sometimes they go down, so we need to look at when that happens. And we're also going to look at how to draw treble clefs. So, that's what we're doing today. Let's get started with a recap of what we did last time. So I'm going to run through those four musical notes really quickly. Our first one then was a semi-brief. We know a semi-brief hopefully is held for four beats and it looks like a squished circle. The next note was a minim. Squished circle again with a stem on the side and it's held for two beats. Our third note we looked at was the crotchet. It's held for just one beat, and this time we've coloured in the squished circle. And the final note we looked at was a quaver, and it's held for half a beat. And it's got a tail attached to the stem. We also looked last time at two quavers. If you remember, we can take away the tails and join them together, so we can have, so it just makes the music look a bit tidier. Okay, that's what we did last time, really, really quickly. We also did some clapping. So today, a bigger challenge. I'm going to clap one of these patterns, A, B, C or D, and you need to identify which one it is. So if you've downloaded the worksheet, there is room for you to write A, B, C or D for clapping pattern one, or if you're feeling like you're up for a challenge, you could write down the notes, so copy them down from A, the A, B, C or D box. So here is your first rhythm. I'll count four, then I'll clap it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so have a look at those A, B, C or D. I'll play it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'll play it for you one more time if you haven't got it yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you've got it now. Let's break down what I clapped. So, on one, I had one clap. So that rules out D, because I didn't do two claps. On beat one. Beat two had two claps, so that rules out A, so it's not A or D, so it must be C or B. Let's listen to the whole thing again. It has to be B. Well done if you got that right. Let's do another one. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Do you want to hear it again? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'll play it one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do you know which one it is? Well, it's not A. It's not B. It's not D, so it has to be C. Well done if you got that right. Now, here are four different rhythms. We're going to have two more goes of this. Are you ready? Here's the next rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Have you got it already? I'll play it again. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you've got this one after just two playthroughs. It was A. Just one clap on each of the four beats. Hopefully you've got that as A. Let's do another one. I'm going to do this one. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
I'll play it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'll play it one more time for you if you haven't got it yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Did you get it? The answer was C. Okay. Let's look at how to draw a treble clef. Okay, so these are the steps to draw a treble clef. You start on the second line up, so the G line. You start there with a small dot. You then have to curve round to the middle line and then down to the bottom line. So you start on the second line up with a small dot, curve round to the middle line, down to the bottom line. Okay, you then continue this line, keep it curving round, and then it straightens up and goes above the top line. So the next step then, so we've got that starting on the second line up, curve round to the middle line, down to the bottom line, up and round, and at this point we flick over and come down just off the starting point and then we put a little flick on the end. So those are the steps. You start on the second line up, that G line, curve round to the middle line, down to the bottom line, keep that line going round, straighten it up a little bit over the top of the top line and then curve it over down back through just for off the side of the first bit curve round and flick on the end and that is how you draw a treble clef on your worksheet that you can download from the description box below if you haven't already there's the stave written out for you to have a go at drawing your treble clef if you can't print that off just draw yourself five lines and then you can have a go at drawing your treble clef as well it will take some practice and they will look very strange to start with until you've got control of it. So just have a look at my examples a few more times if you need to. Let's move on to the stems. Now, on your worksheet, if you've downloaded it, you will see that you are going to have to add a treble clef to the beginning of each line. And you can see here, I have lots and lots of semi-breves. We know that semi-breves don't have stems on them at all, so we don't need to worry about which way the stems go. So let's have a look at minims instead. Now, you can see I've already added some stems here to the minims, just as you've seen before. The stems are on the right side of the note and they go up. When we learnt about minims, that's how they looked. Here's the tricky thing. When you get to the middle line, there's a choice that can be made. The stem can go up or the stem could go down. And when the stem goes down, it's on the left instead of on the right. It's a bit tricky when you get to that middle note to decide whether the stem goes up or the stem goes down. And that is something you are going to have to decide on your challenge when you have to draw the stems on the notes. Let's have a look then at what it would look like if these were crotchets. And the answer is the stems go the same way. Below the middle line the stems go up, above the middle line the stems go down. Let's have a look then at quavers and you can see here the stems go up and the tails are the same. When it goes upside down, those tails are round the other way. So your challenge, first draw your treble clef, then add the tails. If I say minims, you draw them as minims. If I say they're semi if, if I say they're crotchets, you draw them as crotchets. If I say they're quavers, you draw them as quavers. And at the end is an empty stave for you to write your own thing. 
whichever notes you would like. So that is your challenge. Hopefully, stems and treble clef make a little bit more sense to you now.